Hey there, good afternoon, and welcome back to another video game review. Today I look at Omega Strike by Wobblyware on Nintendo Switch. From the folks that brought us Random Heroes on mobile, introducing Omega Strike. This is a high resolution game in the same vein with added fun. Switch between three characters at any given moment to utilize their strengths. Save the world from Dr. Omega and his mutant army in this running gun title. The eShop icon looks great and should attract many to find out what this game is all about. Let's dig in. Weapons can be continuously shot left, up, or right, but not in the downward direction. That would come in handy if it were an option. That's not to say you can just mow through enemies from a distance. The length your bullet can be shot is not that far, so you must be close to your enemy. The mission begins with a tutorial laid out by signs that give information on each character and how to exploit their strengths. Sarge uses a rifle. Dex can double jump and uses a shotgun. Bear can push heavy objects and uses a bouncing bullet gun. Once you're past the tutorial, the real game begins. Two main characters are taken away and you're forced to play as Sarge. I think that's a good way to become a better player of each character. It keeps the game interesting and won't allow you to rely on your chosen main, although I kept a decent balance of each when I had the chance. Slugs, bats, zombies, mutants, grenadiers, snakes, and more. Many enemies to blast away, shooting their heads into the air only to be shot again to splatter their blood. That was funny when I noticed it could be done. Enemies come in all sizes from just bigger than the explosive mines found on the ground to double your character's size. The snake is a huge and odd shape, that's my favorite looking enemy. Normal baddies have the same attack pattern and they're easy to follow. Change the surrounding and add multiple enemies and it ups the difficulty quite a bit. Medkits come in handy when you're running through and past bad guys getting pelted by bullets. Bosses have patterns to follow in order to defeat them in the most efficient way. Take a loss the first time you fight them and you're sure to come back with a plan and vengeance. Eat chicken to regain health. Collect gold coins to buy items and upgrades. Guns can be upgraded for higher damage and bullet distance can be upgraded as well. Find light cubes and give four of them to the priest to upgrade your health points. An item can be purchased to automatically bring you back to the base, which is nice. The pixel art is great and it really shows in the larger objects, such as the helicopter. This is not comparable to the mobile games at all. Travel above ground and enjoy the background layers that show this game wasn't just slapped together with a copy and paste from previous work. I really admire the work they put into every scene and come to life with odd characters to interact with and objects to see and enjoy. The map screen shows the items to be found and I love that. If you're on the hunt for life cubes, you know how many you've found thus far. No pointless wandering required. There are also treasure chests to be found, which contain gold skulls that are worth 30 gold. Collecting gold from defeated enemies is fun, and spending the loot on upgrades is satisfying. Coins can be seen in the inventory screen, not on the main play screen. I would have liked to see the coins collected on the main screen because it shows the work you've done, but oh well. Final words, this is a great pick up and play game that doesn't require the player to memorize anything or get too involved. Perfect for a 10-20 to 20 minute session to kill mutants and platform here and there. It's really fun and the graphics are very enjoyable. I won't say it's a mindless play, but very casual in the best way. It's labeled a Metroid game, but honestly, back and forth isn't too much in Omega Strike, and that's very appealing to me. With all that said, I would recommend this game, and you should check it out too. Thank you for tuning in, and if you enjoyed the video, feel free to share, show your support by sharing the video. Take care, and see you next time.